guys, welcome back. Today I'll be reviewing Felt Creatures by Barry Durham. I received an ebook, a copy of this from the author in exchange for an honest review. Now, Felt Creatures is the third book in a paranormal mystery series, and it began with the Demdike Legacy followed by Familiar Territory. I received both of those books uh, from the author as well some time ago, and I did reviews on them and posted them on my channel. So I'll put links to those down below if you'd like to check them out. The series is set in Lancashire. Um, back in 1612, there was a very famous witch trial that took place where several women were hung um, in charge with witchcraft. And we come to learn that their ancestors have um, continued to live in the area and still practice the old ways and kind of keep to themselves. And um, this opens up the whole paranormal aspect of the series. Uh, in the first book, there is a murder that takes place. Uh, one of the descendants' wives is killed in sort of a symbolic uh, murder. Uh, she's found with a noose around her neck, even though the noose wasn't used to kill her. It's symbolizing that the person who killed her knows she is a descendant of the witch of witches. Um, investigating these crimes um, throughout the series is Detective Chief Inspector Alf Stone and his partner, Detective Inspector Alexander Johnson. I really like the pairing of these two. Uh, I love British mysteries and police procedurals, and the first two books are really rich with that. The third book, not so much on the police side of it, but the paranormal really came through much more in, in Fell Creatures. So each one of these uh, books, we learn more and more about the characters. There's really wonderful character development throughout the entire series. And in Fell Creatures, once again, we have a murder mystery that's taken place. Um, in this country park, a man is found kind of spread eagled. Uh, there are bruisings on his arms and legs where he apparently has been held down by people and st stuffed into his mouth down his throat is wolfsbane, which is basically a poison. It's a very odd um, way to kill somebody. But even odder still is when um, DCI Stone calls in the pathologist, or the, the coroner, to come in to the scene of the crime and he sees the body. He's really shocked because this is not the first time he has seen this body. Um, about 10 years or more ago, the same body was on an autopsy slab and he was about to perform an autopsy in front of some students when suddenly the man jumped up and ran off, never to be seen again. Sort of kind of hushed up and everything, but he was you know, definitely sure that it was dead then, and he's definitely sure he's dead again, but they still don't really know the identity of this person. So it's a really, really strange situation here. Now, there's a lot of odd things that happen in this area of Lancashire, which DCI Stone has already encountered in um, the previous uh, cases that he's dealt with, as we learn in the Demdike Legacy and Familiar Territory. Um, he comes to learn of the people in the area and their abilities, rather unique abilities in some cases. One such woman is a, a, a young woman by the name of Mary Conway. Uh, she was working in a nursing home, um, and we come to learn that she has the ability to kind of see and communicate with the dead. And uh, her, her abilities are kind of broadening from there. Um, she happens to come across um, a dead hare on the road, you know, large rabbit. And uh, when she approaches it and comes in contact with it, she's able to determine how it died. And she and it died from a, the illegal sport of coursing, which is where an animal sort of run to ground by, uh, by dogs. And she's furious and, and upset by it and decides that she wants to find out who is responsible. And there's this sort of um, the thing called a wear tradition where um, some time ago, witches were able to transform themselves into hares in a way to kind of escape the law. And she begins to kind of learn this ability to transform herself and thus maybe uh, be able to investigate who's behind this um, this coursing. But it's going to lead her into something much more sinister uh, and to a group of uh, outsiders uh, from Romania that have come into the area. And the whole book kind of, it, like all the series, it's, it's not just the police solving the crimes. They are going to have to rely on the people in the area with their their witchcraft abilities and things like that to kind of help bring the, the criminals to justice for both the coursing in this case and for the murder victim. Um, and uh, there's a major kind of battle at the end, which is just amazing. What I really like about Mr. Durham's books is, is the character development throughout. You really find yourself um, really caring about each and every one of the characters. And I like how they, they continue throughout the series. There's a few new people within this particular book um, that were really intriguing, but a lot of my favorites were back again that I had met in the previous two books. I really recommend this series. It's very well written, very engaging, and like I said, if you like something along the lines of paranormal, you'll get something out of this. If you like a good mystery, 
you'll get something out of this as well. And, and like I said, just really great character development. I highly recommend this series. Uh, the first two books I gave five stars to, and this book I gave four stars on Goodreads. Uh, it is available in ebook format and a physical format if you're interested. But uh, yeah, definitely recommend you check them out. And I would recommend you read the series kind of in that order of the Demdeck Legacy, Familiar Territory, and then Fell Creatures. Because then you get that, that development as it progresses through the series. So hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching, and I hope you give them a try. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.